Adam from My Virtual Mission here again. Uh, today uh, we're going to be looking at the wallet billing style for your race host mission. Um, so in the last video we uh, we, cr we created this mission um, and uh, now I'm going to talk about how you can uh, add participants and um, accept them onto your mission using the wallet billing style. So we have two billing styles. One of them is wallet, um, which is where you pre-fund a wallet with us and then when someone joins the challenge uh, they uh, our fee gets deducted from your wallet balance. Um, we also have another style called mission page checkout, which means a person can uh, pay to enter uh, the uh, the mission on the actual mission page using their credit card. So there is another video for mission page checkout, uh, but today we'll be talking about the um, the wallet style. So if we go to the platform tab, um, and what we'll see on the platform tab, if we scroll down, is our billing and mission entry. Um, it's selected to wallet. Um, the other option um, here is the mission page checkout, but we're just going to keep it um, at wallet. And we'll see here that our wallet balance is <clears throat> zero dollars. Um, so what we want to do um, is to uh, add some wallet funds. So we'll click this button here. This takes us to our billing page um, in the wallet section. Um, but before we do that, we'll just take a quick look at our pricing because that is above um, above the uh, mission page checkout area on this page um, and your pricing here um, this is in usd this is really um, for example sake your pricing might differ um, somewhat um, but just for an example sake uh, the pricing is done um, in three tiers here um, and the first one to 100 people uh, for a one to 90 day mission is charged at seven dollars fifty per person so what that means is that when you accept someone onto your mission um, your wallet will be deducted by seven dollars fifty um, for that for that person for every person that joins pricing does decrease with uh, increased in volume uh, but it is cumulative so for the first one to one to 100 they'll be charged at seven dollars fifty for the uh, for 101 to 500 they'll be charged at six dollars 75 and for 501 um, plus participants um, they will be charged at six dollars so I just wanted to um, explain that um, to you as well um, and also different time frames as well so if your mission is one to 90 days in duration um, then this is the appropriate column um, if your mission is uh, 181 days to 548 days in duration which um, uh, then your your pricing is uh, in this column here um, but what we want to do is we want to fund our wallet so that when we start to accept people onto our mission um, that those people can join because we've got enough wallet balance. So you can fund your wallet with whatever amount you want. Um, it doesn't really matter how much you uh, you fund it by, it's up to you. Um, you can enter in here a billing name and a billing address. This is for your, um, for your invoice. Um, so for this example, I'm just going to fund the wallet by uh, $500. So if we click continue, um, then what's going to happen here is um, we're going to uh, have automatically created a invoice for you um, for payment. So um, if you need to send this invoice to someone, you can just get the link, um, which is in the URL um, up the top. It's not shown in this video, but you can copy and paste the, the URL into say an email if you need to send it to an accounts person, um, or you can click um, save to PDF and it will download load a PDF as well as these other options here. Uh, if you want to pay the invoice, you can click the pay now button. You can enter your credit card details in here uh, and then click pay and it will make the payment um, and the payment will then be applied uh, to your account. Um, so at the moment it's still waiting for the payment um, but I'll just manually add uh, some funds to the wallet um, so we can continue on with the uh, tutorial. Okay so as you can see um, the balance has now been updated to show the $500 um, payment that we made to top up our wallet. Um, so if we uh, if we go back to the uh, to the mission page, um, which uh, you can get to by just clicking on your mission, um, and uh, now we're ready to onboard participants because we've funded our wallet um, and we're ready to uh, to accept people onto the mission. So um, you might be selling entries into your challenge maybe on your own website, which is probably um, one of the reasons why you're choosing to um, fund your your mission um, using the wallet style. Um, so you can just uh, send people to your mission page. So that you, the way you can do that is just by copying the URL um, to your mission, which is up in your address bar, um, and then you can uh, and then you can you know, send it to people. Now I'm just switching over to another user here. This is just a test user that we set up for the purpose of this um, um, of the uh, the tutorial here. Um, so if this person here logs uh, or goes into um, to your mission and they want to join it, um, they will come and this is what they will see. 
uh, they'll see your mission, your map, um, they'll see you know things that have happened on your mission. Um, it's telling them that the mission hasn't yet been launched, but they still can join the mission. Um, so if they want to join, they just uh, either click this join button down here, or they can click the join button here. It gives them a bit of information about the mission. Um, because this is an ongoing mission, which we set up, um, it allows the user to select uh, their time frame that they want to try and complete the mission in. Um, so we've given them the option of um, selecting a, uh, the time frame here up to four weeks. Um, so if this person here wants to join um, the mission for four weeks, um, they can request to join. Okay, now this um, has mean, meant that the person has requested to join um, the mission and that that request has been lodged with the mission admin, which is uh, which is yourself. Um, so if we go back to this mission page here um, and we'll just refresh the page, but um, if we just head over to the admin tab, uh, now we will see that we've got this user um, is in our pending approvals area. So John Smith has um, asked to join the mission, which is what I just showed you uh, in the other screen there. Um, and if we want to accept this person onto the mission, we can uh, tick this or we can click this box and they will instantly be accepted onto the mission. Um, we can also do other actions like decline this person. Um, if we had teams on this mission, um, for example, if we set up some teams, which we can do by just creating a new team, um, then we can uh, use this drop down to also assign them straight into that team as well. Um, and this person may even have already asked to join a particular team when they signed up, um, if there were teams already created. But but there weren't. There was only individuals. So uh, if we want to accept John Smith onto the mission, then we will um, we will uh, just tick this box. Now, it is important to know that. Um, if your mission has already launched um, and you accept someone onto the mission, um, that will instantly deduct your wallet by the uh, mission fee that we charge. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, if your mission is not yet launched, you can add this person to the mission. That's fine. Um, and uh, and if you remove subsequently remove them from the mission um, by going into this area here and, and clicking uh, permanently delete or send them back to pending, um, then they won't be charged for when you launch your mission. But if you leave them here, um, they've joined the mission and then you go to launch the mission, then they will be um, charged for. So um, why don't we go and take a look at launching the mission now. So um, here is your mission. Again, we're back on the mission page. Uh, we want to uh, launch the mission. So we're going to click here. And we're going to say yes. Um, this is taking us to our launch mission area where we have one participant on the mission that um, is to be billed for because the admin person is included for free. Um, so only John Smith is uh, on this mission. Um, the uh, the cost is $7.50. That's the um, the participant fee for this mission. Uh, we have a balance of $500. Um, so uh, to launch this this mission now, we'll, uh, if we click this button, it will deduct the wallet by $7.50. Uh, so I hope that's helped you. Um, understand the wallet style billing for uh, for your race host mission um, it is designed for you to have lots of flexibility around where you sell your challenge entries um, through your own chat channels or maybe a sponsor's paying for everyone to join um, or for some other reason where um, where you want to pre-fund uh, and prepay for a bunch of users um, to to join your mission uh, there is uh, the other style we have is mission page checkout um, there will be another video on that uh, if you want to check it out thanks very much